Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and you're watching the detailed camera review of the new flagship smartphone from Vivo in the V series, the Vivo V17 Pro with quad rear cameras and dual pop-up selfie camera. So let's find out how the camera performs in this segment in this detailed review. In terms of the camera hardware, it sports a quad rear camera with 48 megapixel primary sensor. It's a Sony IMX582 sensor with f1.8 aperture. It has a secondary 13 megapixel telephoto lens with 2x optical zoom and a third 8 megapixel wide angle camera and a fourth 2 megapixel depth sensor. It also has an LED flash. Now the front camera on the uh, device is a 32 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture and a dedicated moonlight selfie flash. There is also a secondary 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera for wide angle selfies. So let's find out how the camera performs. Now first step, let's have a look at the daylight captures. From the daylight shots, you can see that the 48 megapixel sensor offers good clarity and we have already seen that the Sony IMX582 sensor is a really good in terms of the camera performance. The colors are quite good and Vivo makes an attempt to keep the colors quite natural. Although at times the colors are a bit vivid. But overall it doesn't look saturated at all and provides good experience in terms of the daylight photography. The details are good and sharpness levels are also good. Now the phone also comes with auto HDR mode and the, or the backlight HDR mode uh, which works pretty well and the dynamic range is also very good. There is also a 13 megapixel telephoto lens capable of 2x optical zoom and 10x digital zoom. The quality of the photos are pretty good again and there isn't any drastic loss of details with the zoom. The phone also comes with 8 megapixel wide angle camera and the performance is quite good. While the colors are good, the sharpness levels are not as good as the primary camera, but it still is very much usable and does a pretty good job. Looking at the close-up shots, you can see that the phone does a good job with close-up images. The colors are a bit vibrant here, but does provide good details. There is also a super macro mode which can be toggled from the main interface and it is again impressive with great details on offer. This is particularly useful to zoom into small text or details. Next, the portrait shots. Here again the images looks quite good, the edge detection in portrait shots are quite okay while it is not the perfect one out there. We would have liked Vivo V17 Pro to provide a bit more in terms of the edge detection but it isn't bad by any means. Moving on to the low light images, the phone has f1.8 aperture and it produces good results in artificial light. When light drops further, the noise increases but it still maintains a decent quality. There is a night mode on offer which does a good job in maintaining the colors in extreme low light conditions and offers good sharpness levels and details. So this is the 1080p sample taken with the Vivo V17 Pro so it can record videos both in 4K as well as 1080p resolution. So 1080p sample has uh, image stabilization so you can see that the footage looks good and uh, you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and uh, also the audio output. But uh, in our testing we found the camera sample to be pretty good in terms of the video recording especially the color rendering was pretty good uh, more of uh, accurate colors uh, included in the video. So this is the 4K Ultra HD camera sample taken with the Vivo V17 Pro. So it has this 48 megapixel Sony IMX582 sensor and uh, it can record videos in both the 1080p resolution as well as 4K. So this is the 4K Ultra HD camera sample so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and uh, also the uh, quality and uh, the audio output from the video. 
so this is the ultra wide angle camera sample taken with uh, the vivo v17 pro so you can record videos uh, using the wide angle camera and this is uh, uh, an 8 megapixel wide angle camera so this is how the quality looks like so you can judge uh, based on uh, this video how good the experience is and also the audio output from the wide angle camera on the vivo v17 pro so this is the video sample taken using the front facing camera on the vivo v17 pro it's a 32 megapixel selfie camera uh, which can record videos in 1080p resolution so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the front camera on the vivo v17 pro so this is the ultra wide angle selfie video taken now uh, using the 8 megapixel uh, wide angle camera on the vivo v17 pro so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the friend wide angle camera now finally moving on to the selfie experience the dual selfie camera on the vivo v17 pro takes good selfies and there is good amount of details on offer as well you can also see that the sharpness levels in the selfies is again good the dynamic range in selfies also is impressive there is a moonlight selfie flash and in extreme low light conditions or completely dark conditions it does a good job in bringing up decent results the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera can take some good wide angle selfies now talking about the portrait selfies, the performance was quite decent and edge detection was not perfect similar to the rear camera and it did have a few misses. We would expect Vivo to fix these issues. So that is the camera review of the Vivo V17 Pro. So how does the camera on the Vivo V17 Pro stack up in this segment? The V17 Pro takes photography to next level with quad camera which works very well. The daylight and night shots came out well, the wide angle shots are also good and the telephoto lens is an added addition. Also the availability of Swooper Macro is another great feature on offer. The video quality is good with EIS on offer and the dual selfie camera also does justice. The only area where we feel Vivo should do a bit more optimization is the portrait mode both in rear and front cameras. Overall Vivo V17 Pro is easily one of the best camera centric smartphones in this price segment. So that is a detailed review of the Vivo V17 Pro. So what do you feel about the camera on the Vivo V17 Pro? Do share in your thoughts in the comment section. This is Nimal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.